And there we go. Nicoletta Kiriakopoulou. And here we have one of the certainly favorites for a, t for a medal here. Angelica Sidorova is having a fantastic season, equaled her personal best of 485 this year. And there is the defending champion, reigning Olympic champion, has a personal best of 491 for Greece. That's Ekaterini Stefanidi. And next up, the British champion, sixth and fifth in successive Olympic finals. Has never competed in a European Championships before this one, actually. And that is Holly Bradshaw. As we take a look at Holly Bradshaw, who is entering the competition at this height. 455 for the Britain there. And also looking very good. Nicely done. Can't believe it's her first European Championship. She's been very good indeed. Consistent in other international championships. Has Holly Bradshaw sixth and fifth in Olympic finals, seventh and sixth in successive World Championship finals. Finished fourth at the Commonwealth Games this year, so was a little disappointed there. But great performance there from the Brit. And looking at another strong Greek athlete, Nicoletta Kyriakopoulou had a failure at this height of 4.55. And a laborious jump there, but she's just glad that she cleared that height. Had some space there between the bar, but it didn't look as easy as her first round attempt at 4.45. There is the Swedish record holder, Angelica Bengtsson has a number of accolades to her name. It's a very fast run-up. And again, a lot of height there over the bar. So if we see these athletes continuing to jump the way they are, we could see some very high heights. It didn't look that easy going in the qualifying for some of them. But then again, the conditions were very tough. It was very hot during the qualifying. And there, Bengtsson with her second attempt over 4.55. As we move back to the women's pole vault, action rolling in thick and fast there now in the field events. Nicoletta Kyriakopoulou, the Greek, <laughs> celebrating there as she clears that next height of 4.65. Again, seems to be quite slow when she rises, but has quite a bit of room left there between herself and the bar. Moves slightly to the right-hand side, but there, the coach is happy. Good performance, is celebrating. It's just got that little bit quieter in the stadium for a while because the roar that came up for each of the introduced uh, German javelin throws, marvellous. And we can see there the defending champion with her opening jump, very comfortable. Waited a while there to enter the competition, 4.65. There is her sister, who's also a pole vaulter, and her husband and coach, Mitch Kreer, with the red cap travels around the circuit with her. We've often seen him help out some of the other vaulters as well when some of the coaches can't be traveling. It's all right, <laughs> says. 4.65 there for the defending champion. And there is Holly Bradshaw, the British champion. Very powerful athlete. Look very good there as well. Over that height. So we now have quite a few athletes 
over 465. First time clearances there for Kuria Kapulu, Stefanidi, Guillaume Romara, Holly Bradshaw. So these four over. Next up, four meters and 70. The bar really going up quickly now. Nicoletta Kuria Kapulu at 470. And she's over. What a performance from the Greek athlete came back after giving birth to your daughter last year and is really in fine form. We'll be delighted after having to sit out 2016, the Olympic cycle with injury after that great season she's had in 2015. So two Greek athletes still there. Sidorova, of course, passed at 4.65. And what a clearance there from the Russian, the authorized neutral athlete. There, rises up. And we've seen some great photographs from the qualifying just because of the way the stadium is built and the way the pole vault is taking place here. So their relief on the coach's faces as this was her third attempt at the height of 470, as you can see here. And we look at the women's pole vault where really it's now turning into the medal deciding jumps. Nicoletta Kuria Kapulu, just one failure so far at 4.55, 4.70 in the first attempt, 4.65 in the first attempt. Now we're at 4.75. Can the Greek athlete continue her near flawless run? And she can very well indeed from Kuriakopoulou there. And you can see how much it means to her. Fantastic performance there from the Greek. Could we see two Greek medals? It's most likely there's only four athletes remaining in this field. Kuriakopoulou, Stefanidi, of course, the second Greek, the defending champions, and then Sidorova and Holly Bradshaw still in at 4.75. As we move on to the next Greek, Ekaterini Stefanidi has won pretty much anything you can win these last few years. And she goes clear as well. Of course, a lot fewer attempts for her. Only entered the competition at 4.65. Left out at 4.70 and now goes clear at 4.75. Really struggled with injury during the indoor season and was very happy that she managed to win a medal at the World Indoor Championships and then also struggled a little during the outdoor season going in, but now she's really finding that top form that we are used to seeing from her in major championships. They're conferring with her coach and husband, Mitch Creer. Well, it's noticeable that Stephanie has said in all interviews throughout the season that she's really targeting these European Championships, that she wants to defend her crown. And we're going to the women's pole vault, where it's now getting really exciting. Holly Bradshaw had two failures at 4.75 and has just one attempt remaining. She's seen the two Greek athletes go over the height and she joins them there with 4.75. Absolutely delighted the Briton there with that height and we could see there from our positions here the other athletes clapping for her and cheering her on as she was attempting that last jump at this height Four. getting close to her season's best there of 480 set a personal best last year of 481 a british record back in the women's pole vault where things are 
really getting interesting now. Angelica Sidorova with her final attempt at 480. And no, that's it. So the medals are decided. The order is yet to be confirmed. Although Stefanidi looks an overwhelming favorite. Sidorova finished in fourth there. Might be a little disappointed there because she has had a pretty impressive season so far. So no medal there, and we will know the medals will be decided between Kyriakopoulou, Stefanidi, and Bradshaw. So two Greeks and one Brit. And I'm sure there's just a tinge of regret there that she did actually pass 4.75, which seems now like a very unwise gamble. Looking at her, though, we were briefly mentioning the fact that she's all taped up. I wonder whether anything has anything to do with that. No, I'll tell you what, actually. I've seen Sidorova on the international circuit quite frequently, and that's more of a therapeutic dressing. Now, Holly Bradshaw, with her final attempt at 480, can she join the two Greeks? No. Not to be, but it's a guaranteed bronze for Holly Bradshaw, and she will be more than happy. It's her first European Championship, and she brings home a bronze medal. And that will certainly be a bit of a consolidation after missing out on that medal at the Commonwealth Games earlier in the year. And in the women's pole vault, the bar is at 4 metres and 80. Championship record held by this woman here, Katerini Stefanidi, with 4.81. And she's looking very strong. And she clears it in her first attempt as well. So if she keeps going like this, she will be hard to beat. And that championship record will be history very soon. Was so dominant last year. And she was saying she hasn't seen anyone as dominant in the pole vault in a while. And she's starting to take it for granted. So this season's kind of helped her come back down to earth a bit she struggled a little to start off with but now really finding into that championship shape she's been chasing and you can see just the smile there she's very happy with her performance and she can be indeed as we take a look at Nicoletta Kyriakopoulou her first failure at 480 and she goes clear as well so currently we have a Greek 1-2 in the women's pole vault. And what a night it will be. They'll be dancing in the streets of Athens tonight. And I did see a few Greek restaurants around the centre of Berlin as well, not far from our hotel. I'm sure the music will be turned up just a notch there and the highlights of this competition being played. Angelika Sidorova had left out that 4.75 and is back in with 480, had cleared 470 in her third attempt, but is currently in fourth since Holly Bradshaw cleared 475. As we take a look back at the women's pole vault, last attempt for the two athletes, Keria Kapoor is up first, 485. It's already set a season's best, and it's too high in this case. She's got silver confirmed. Surely very happy with that. More than she expected going in there. The Greek coaches there congratulating each other. So Stefanidi has the title safe, but can she go even better? She's cleared all of her attempts in first height so far. So if she can clear that for 85 it would be a new championship record and better the one that she herself set in Amsterdam and she does it the bar wobbles slightly it stays up and what a fantastic performance there her coach on the right I'm guessing it might be her dad on the left just showing again what a championship performer she is came in here with the pressure on her back Berlino there, <laughs> congratulating her. The women's pole vault, where Stefanidi is the confirmed winner. She has raised the bar to what would be a world leading 496.
has already got a championship record, but no. What a performance again. Great champion there. There is Mitch Creer, her husband and coach. She wanted to defend that title. That was her top priority in 2018, and she did with class in a championship record, 485 for the Greek. Second, Nicoletta Kuriakopoulou with 480 as well. And in third, Britain's Holly Bradshaw with 475. Has to untangle the flag there first. And of course, the pole vaulters have to tidy up their poles as well. There she is flying the Greek flag after we already saw a Greek victory in the long jump yesterday. There is her sister. Held the flag upside down, I think. Now all good, celebrating with Berlino. It must be quite relieving to get a hug from a big bear there. You know they say bear hugs. I think that's quite literal in that sense. Well, we've seen Berlino do a few laps of the track over the course of this evening. He's probably been one of the most active people on the track. I wonder whether he's wearing one of those step trackers. And there's Kiriakopoulou joining her for a photograph that I'm sure is going to be on the front pages of all the Greek newspapers tomorrow. And now Holly Bradshaw joining the pair and will be delighted with that bronze medal. Really great performance by all three of them. It was an entertaining final. Very say. entertaining, enthralling, and especially when you factor in some of the other vaulters who aren't on the podium, like Benson, Sidorov, and what they were doing. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I've enjoyed every final thoroughly, but this, without doubt, that was certainly a very engaging competition. Here we have the results now confirmed. Championship record for Ekaterini Stefanini with 485, Nicoletta Kiriakopoulou 480, and 475 for Holly Bradshaw.